Hi, my name is Joe from Sidewalk Astronomers on uh, Facebook. Today I'm just going to go over a basic overview of the equipment that I use, which is very similar to the equipment that my friend brings down to the city. This is a 6 inch Dobsonian telescope, which I purchased from Orion.com. Uh, it's a very, very simple telescope. It's uh, very easy to use. It's a uh, Dobsonian, which refers to the base, but the, re the telescope itself is a reflective telescope. How the base works is you just have your simple swing, simple altitude, and it all holds tension with these springs. It's all very stable, very, very easy to use. Now this is a reflecting telescope, which means that the image that we're viewing, say the moon or a planet, comes in through this aperture or hole, comes down through the tube, and hits a parabolic mirror which focuses it back up the tube to a secondary mirror, which is right here on a, uh, a cross brace. The image is then reflected off the second mirror to the eyepiece. Very simple, very easy to use, durable. Um, you can bag it around. This is a very, very nice piece of equipment. Uh, bring the camera here. We have a very, very simple sight. It's not like a real fancy uh, second telescope. It's just simply a red ball that you aim at a planet or or uh, the moon to get focused. So that way you can straighten the scope out. So you can uh, accurately point the telescope at whatever you need to point it at. For city viewing, we use generally pretty low powered um, eyepiece. This is just a very simple 25 millimeter eyepiece. I also have a, uh, a far low lens, which doubles that magnification to 12.5. It's very, very simple to use. And also, because of the lights of the city, we use a variety of filters. This would be a natural filter, which we'd use viewing the moon. And I like the blue filter for further off objects like Jupiter and Saturn it knocks out all the uh, blue light that metal halide lights uh, tend to have. It just makes all the images much, much clearer. Um, it's very easily transportable. This actually fits right sitting dead sideways in my van. It fits entirely inside the van. It doesn't shake around. It uh, doesn't take up a whole lot of room. Dad. Uh, it's a very nice Daddy. piece of equipment. What, what did you do? Um, with a scope uh, the other night, we were looking at the, the Great Nebula in Orion, and I just pointed it right at it. Lo and behold, there it was. Um, what Sidewalk Astronomers is all about is we like to take our telescopes to public places. Um, it could be a library, it could be a university. Uh, what we like to do is we like to bring them to rock and roll shows. Um, so we'll go see, see the bands that we would like to see, and then I we'll take the telescopes look? out. Can I look through this at that? No, that would hurt your eyes. A laser me? It would laser you, yes. But uh, we bring it to rock and roll shows. Um, this idea is wholly owned by my friend Thomas. Um, I met him through another friend of mine on Facebook. And uh, he had this crazy idea we we're going to go see a band called Adam Strange, um, some friends of mine. And I invited him to come along. And he said, well, how about if I bring a telescope? And I thought that was just a fascinating idea. So I mean, blame this entire thing on him. Um, but the whole point is, find yourself a public place where there's going to be a lot of traffic. Um, light doesn't really matter if you're using, if you're just doing uh, planetary, planetary viewing. Uh, Jupiter, Saturn, the moon. Don't throw that ball at me again. Stop. Stop. If I'm...